So, welcome to today's vlog. Um, today we're going to be breaking down a, a KTM 65 from top to bottom end. We'll show you how to break it down and then we'll do another video of rebuilding it from basically the ground up. We'll have the cases split, put the transmission in it, new bearings. Um, we had that bike and it just, it was just a mess. We were doing it for somebody else and uh, they decided they didn't want to put any more money into it so we're going to pull the plug. Um, and we'll end up buying the bike just for backup parts. So we're going to be unboxing uh, Hot Rods crank and rods kit. And uh, the gaskets came in another box, but I needed to make room on the workbench for, for that. Uh, here's our piston. The second time rebuilding it, so we're just going to go with the stock B piston. Um, new Hot Rods crank. New rod on there. New seals, oil seals, crankcase seals, maybe even a water pump seal is what it looks like. Wrist pin bearing. And some main bearings. This is what keeps your motor spinning all fresh from being all clapped out and clacky. So that's basically our kit right there. Um, we're going to put this bike together and we'll keep it posted. So here we have a KTM 65 uh, that we're rebuilding. I got a little ahead of myself. I was a little excited to get this thing going. But, uh, let's see if I can break this down for you guys. So the first thing you want to do is release these 6 millimeter bolts to the clamshell, which is for the power valve. So there's three six millimeter bolts. Then you roll over to an eight millimeter that sits on top of the diaphragm, which is the bottom of the clamshell, which sits on here. And I'll kind of go backwards a little bit because it's kind of a tricky situation. So when you're removing this power valve, if you just crank on it, you're gonna break it. So if you just if you crank on it, you're gonna break it. It's just the way it is. So what I do is I will lift it up. See how it wants to this power valve just wants to lift up. So you lift it up. This is a six millimeter right here. And see how it'll stay up? You just lift it up with a diaphragm on it. Put your six millimeter underneath the bottom, and then you use an eight to crack the sluice. Just retain tension on the uh, power valve. So here's another funny thing. These are two different size screws, which for what reason, I don't know. And most people hate me for using an impact, but I only use it on the breakdown, and then we torque everything on the way back in. Leaves your power valve spring, which is the stock stock spring. So you break your four 10 millimeter bolt split, and your head comes off. Looks pretty clean, no pre debt. Jetting's halfway decent. Then we're going to break our four 10 millimeter cylinder studs power valve just comes right on out super easy a little crap on it but kind of roached you break the four nuts loose It's a little wiggling. If you have to, sometimes I'll bop it on the side with a hammer. Whatever the case may be. Cylinder is actually in really good shape. 
So I, I'm assuming they just had a bad top end, but. Hear that? Sounds like they lost a bearing. It's not even a crank. Freaking people at the, the shop, wherever she went, uh, told her it was a crank, but it's, it's not a crank, it's a crank bearing. But we have the parts in... I mean, I get a little plastic in my cylinder and I, I'm ready to rebuild the motor, so I can't complain. I'm going to go ahead and proceed with it just because. Now that we got the cylinder off, we need to get this flywheel off. doesn't want to just come off. So I just removed that bolt. Got metal shavings in the motor. Got a crack from bearing to bearing. And then we got a screw holding that bearing in, and it was spinning in the case. Crank fucking chewed up the case in here. So we're gonna stop the video right there. Um, there's too much damage to this motor into these cases. Um, we ended up buying the motorcycle off to people. Just there was a fresh rebuild kit. We needed it, um, and then there's a there's a fresh chassis and uh, front end and swing arm i mean we'll have everything we need for a backup bike so uh, we decided to go ahead and pull the plug on the build um but we will restart it with rebuilding luke's bike we'll break that down all the way from start to finish and then uh it's actually halfway broken down so you can use this one as the first reference and then we'll do a rebuilding we'll show you the lower end breakdown uh, splitting the cases and then rebuilding it back up so uh we'll catch you guys later